boys and girls. This week I'm going to be reading you some stories. Mrs Grey's Book of the Day. The stories this week are all Julia <laughs> Donaldson's books. And we're going to start with this one. Room on the Broom. We like this one, don't we, Fletcher? Yeah. Room on the Broom by Julia Donaldson The witch had a cat and a very tall hat and long ginger hair which she wore in a plait. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed, and how the cat spat, when the wind blew so wildly, it blew off her hat. Oh, dear. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then, out of the bushes, on thundering paws, there bounded a dog. With the hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head. I am a dog, as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. You see? The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Oh, wow. Over the fields and the forests they flew, the dog wagged his tail, and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed aloud and held on to her hat. Do you think you can do a witch's laugh, Fletcher? They go like this. Ha, 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 ha. Can you do that? <laughs> can you do that? <laughs> but away blew the bow from her long ginger plait. Shall we show them the pictures? Mm -hmm. Look. Down, cried the witch. And they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree, with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with the bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low, then said, as the witch tied her plait in a bow, I am a bird, as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Where's the frog? The frog is... No, it's the bird. We've not got to the frog yet, darling. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew, the birds shrieked with glee, and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but let go of her wand. Oh no! That's crazy. How is the broomstick going to fly now if she hasn't got her wand? Do you think witches can do magic without their wands? Or maybe um, she has to say, fly to beyond. Maybe. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leapt a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on the fold of her cloak, I am a frog, as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? me? Yes, cried the witch. So the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone.
gone. gone. Over the moors Ooh. and the mountains they flew. Ooh. The frog jumped for mm -hmm. joy and oh, the broom <laughs> snapped in two. Yay! Oh, yay? <laughs> oh my gosh, no! <laughs> yay! Not yay! Yay! Down fell the cat yay. and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's yay. half broomstick flew into a cloud. And the witch heard a roar. Can you roar for me? Roar! No, that's the wrong kind of roar. Like this. Roar! roar! That was scary and loud. Oh my gosh, boys and girls! I am a dragon, as mean as can be, and I'm planning to have witch and chips for my tea. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew nearer and licking his lips said, Maybe this once I'll have witch without chips. <gasps> oh no, he's going to eat her. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of the ditch rose a horrible beast. Oh <gasps> my gosh. Uh, it was tall, here. dark and sticky and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice, when it started to speak, was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched as it strode from the ditch and it said to the dragon, Buzz off! That's my witch! <sighs> the dragon does look pretty scared. Look! Oh my gosh! The dragon drew back and he started to shake. Oh, I'm sorry, he spluttered. Uh, I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and he went off. They're the, the guys sky. who are actually, they're the guys who helped her. Yeah, it's actually, it's not really a beast, is it? Hmm. And down flew the bird and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. And thank you. Oh, thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in the dragon's insides. Look, she's saying thank you to all her friends. That's why we need friends, don't we, Fletcher? They help us out, don't they, when we're in trouble? And she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, Find something, everyone. Throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a comb, the bird found a twig and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Here she is, look, stirring them all together in her cauldron. Iggity, no, oh, this side, this side, look, Fletcher. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. And then out rose. <gasps> And they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. I hope you enjoyed that, boys and girls. Tomorrow I'll be reading another Julia Donaldson book. See you next time. Say bye. 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 Okay.